ओके तो हाउ वी फाइंड एंगल बिटवीन द टू लाइन्स वो डायरेक्शन रेशियोज आर गिवन दिस इज द फॉर्मूला cos theta is equals to a1 a2 हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ श्रीकृष्ण वी आर डिस्कसिंग यूपीएससी ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर ऑन द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ प्लेन्स व्हिच इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ योर एनालिटिक ज्योमेट्री एनालिटिक ज्योमेट्री इज द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ योर पेपर 1 एंड planes uh, the topic that we are discussing here it's not just some abstract concept they are the fundamental building blocks in our full understanding of analytic geometry which is uh, which which contains the understanding of the space and how the shape works right everything and before you uh, do this subject this subject of this analytic geometry it's very important that you keep your mind open and your imagination and your intuition should always be ignite okay because when you see things It, it it is easy to understand the concept okay so with that note let's get start okay so uh, yeah this is the second lecture and so we have already done few basic concepts okay i introduced you with a box name as robm which was a revision of basic mathematics and that's the next now angle uh, between two planes see angle between two planes how do we find that we know uh, about the this uh, equation of planes general equation of two planes so if we have let us say we have two planes a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus b1 is equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus b2 is equals to 0 now if these two are equation of two planes right these are this b equation of two given planes then see then uh, what about what about direction ratios of their normal so basically if i have two planes maybe like this this is one plane and this is another plane so this is the angle between the two planes okay this is the line of intersection this is that so angle if this is theta then the angle between the two planes is exactly the angle between the, the normals of the uh, both planes because if i draw a normal of this so these are the two planes and we draw a normal this is 90 degree to first plane this is 90 degree second plane and the angle between those 90 degree the angle between those normal is equals to the angle between uh, the planes so in order to find angle between the two planes i'll find the angle between the normals of the two planes so we say now direction ratios of normals what are the direction ratio of normal of planes normal of planes 1 and 2 are these are just the coefficients of x y z so it is a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 respectively okay so how we find angle between the two lines whose direction ratios are given this is the formula cos theta is equals to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divided by under root of a1 square Plus b1 square 
plus t1 square and another root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square okay next we have uh, if these two planes are perpendicular then how can we say that perpendicular means 90 degree angle is 90 degree cos 90 degree so cos 90 degree is zero so that means this numerator has to be zero in that case simple so condition of perpendicularity of those two planes that i have taken uh, with the with this uh, equation 1 and equation 2 so in that case cos theta would be zero which will imply that a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equals to c and what will be the condition of parallelism of the two planes so if i have direction ratios a1 a2 a3 uh, sorry a1 b1 and c1 and a2 b2 c2 of two lines that are parallel obviously if the planes are parallel then their normals will also be so in that case uh, these direction ratios are proportionate so that means here cos theta is equals to cos 0 and cos 0 is 1 which implies that a1 divided by b2 is equals to b1 divided by b2 is equals to c1 divided by c2 okay so remember these two conditions one for perpendicular the other for parallel see let's do this question this is uh, prove that the equation of uh, the, that the equation to the plane through alpha beta gamma parallel to the plane this is this so what are the informations that are that is given in our question you see first information is first information is that it, we have to find first of all equation of a plane which is passing through alpha beta so we have done this uh, this was the first uh, uh, topic that we have done after discussing equation of uh, plane general equation of plane that equation of plane if it passed through a line then how it looks like equation of plane through alpha beta gamma that is capital a times x minus alpha plus b times y minus beta plus c times z minus gamma so so they, we don't have d as a, a constant here okay we do not have d constant so that is first and what are direction ratios of normal of this plane direction ratio of normal of this plane is direction ratio is plane r a b and c obviously coefficients of x y that are a b c in equation number 1 so these are the direction ratios now it says it is parallel to another plane okay so direction ratio of normal of this plane is capital a capital b capital c and the direction ratio of normal of this plane is small a small b small c right also direction ratios of plane ax direction ratios of normal of plane ax plus by plus cz is equal to 0 this is second plane r small a b c according to question 1 is parallel to 2 according to question one is parallel to two equation uh, plane one is parallel to plane two that means their normals are also parallel which implies their direction ratios are proportional that means capital a by a is equals to b by b is equals to c by c let us say that that is equals to some k okay so substitute this this value of a b c in equation number 1 will get so substituting substituting value of a b c from 3 in 
we get required equation as required equation as k a x minus alpha plus k b y minus beta plus k c z minus gamma. First of all, k common and to the right hand side, it will be zero and we get a x plus b y plus c z is equals to a alpha plus b beta plus c gamma. And this is your required equation. See, this was your question number one. Next, see this question. Question is find the equation of the plane through 2, 2, 1 and 9, 3, 6 and perpendicular to the plane. Is, okay, so there are three informations given about that plane. It says that number one, the equation of the plane passes through point 2, 2, 1. Okay, so initially let ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 b be a required plane. Okay, this is first. Since 2, 2, 1 and 9, 3, 6 lie on the plane, that means they will satisfy the equation of plane. So if 2, 2, 1 lie on equation 1, therefore 2a plus 2b plus c plus d is equals to 0 and 9, 3, 6 lie on equation 1, lie on plane 1, therefore uh, 9a plus 3b plus 6c plus d is equals to 0. Okay. What are the direction ratios of plane 1? That is capital A, capital B, capital C. Direction ratios of plane 1 are A, B, C and direction ratio of given line and direction ratios of given plane. Uh, okay, sorry, uh, direction ratio of normal of and direction ratio of normal of given plane. Normal of given plane are 2, 6 and 6. Okay. Since these two planes are perpendicular, so their normals are also perpendicular. Since they are perpendicular, so direction ratios, we have the condition of that perpendicularity which says 2A plus 6B plus 6C is equal to 0. So you have You have uh, second equation, third equation, and fourth equation in in uh, terms of capital A, B, and C. Now, if you subtract uh, two and three, subtract two from three, so you'll get nine a minus two a. That is seven a minus b. Oh, sorry, plus b and then plus 5c is equals to 0. Let's solve 4 and 5. Solving 4 and 5. We'll have capital A divided by 24 cross multiplication method. And then we'll have minus b, 10, 42, 10, it will be minus 32 is equals to c. And then 2 minus 40 that will be in minus and let us say that that is equals to k so capital a we can cancel it so this will go on 3 4 and 5 so a is 3k b is 4k 
and Cl minus I K. Substitute this in equation two. From equation two, we'll have two times two K, uh, two times three K plus two times four K plus C plus D. So plus this is C and D. You can calculate D from here. That'll be eight. Five. So it will be minus 9k. So you have all the values in terms of k. Substitute in a, b, c, d values. Substitute in one from one. Therefore, from equation one, we have ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero. Therefore, three x plus four y minus five z minus nine is equals to zero is required. Clear? Okay. Now, what about plane through three points? See, plane through. Two points will not be a unique plane because there will be infinitely many planes passing through these two points. Okay. Similarly, it's uh, just try to uh, understand this concept from the concept of a line. There will be infinitely many lines passing through one point, right? But if I fix two points, now there will be a unique line passing through that two points. Similarly, from uh, uh, if you fix two fixed points, there will be infinitely many planes passing through it. But if you fix three non-collinear points, there will be a unique plane passing. Through. So we are finding that unique plane, the equation of that unique plane. So equation of plane passing through passing through x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, x3, y3, z2. Now, if ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero, is the equation is required plane? Then obviously all three points should satisfy this equation. Then first, ax one plus okay, I'll write it here. Then ax one plus b. y1 plus c z1 plus d is equal to zero. a x2 plus b y2 plus c z2 plus d is equal to zero. And a x3 plus b y3 plus c z3 plus d is equal to zero. This is one, two, three, four. Okay. Therefore. Equation of plane is so I can find out equation of plane using these four equations. How? Consider here a capital A, B, C, D. These are the four variables that you are solving. So if you are solving the four variables, here you have four equations of those A, B, C, D. You can solve A, B, C, D, right? But this is a concept from linear algebra. Right. Simple linear algebra, and that is again you will name that box as R O P M division of basic mathematics, which says that if you have if you have this homogeneous homogeneous system of linear equation. So let's say two x plus three y is equals to zero and let's say seven x plus y is equals to zero maybe this is the equation then then this system of uh, homogeneous equation can have unique solution or infinitely many solutions there it's not possible to have no solution why because zero zero always is the solution see if you substitute x zero y zero that is always the solution 
So if it is a unique solution, then obviously zero zero is that unique solution because that is always the solution. In that case, the coefficient matrix determinant will be non-zero. If it has uh, infinite solution, then coefficient matrix will have the determinant zero. What is coefficient matrix? Matrix that you make out of these coefficients two, three, seven, one. Okay, so that depends upon what is the determinant of that coefficient matrix. So we don't want the values of capital A, capital B, capital C, and capital D to be zero, zero, zero. We don't want the unique solution, right? It should have infinitely many solutions. Zero, zero will be very zero solution will be very obvious, right? So in order to have infinitely many solutions, the coefficient matrix should have the determinant zero, and that will give me the equation. So equation of planes. What are the coefficients? Okay, don't forget that A, B, C, D are working as variables. The coefficient will be x, y, z, and one. So coefficient uh, equation of coefficient is A, B, sorry, x, y, z, one, x one, y one, z one, one, x two. Y two, Z two, one, X three, Y three, Z three, one, and this determinant is going to be Z. Okay. You must be clear with some uh, particular plane, some equation of some particular plane. For example, coordinate planes. Coordinate planes are X Y plane, Y Z plane. These are called coordinate planes. So, in these coordinate planes, what is the equation of x y plane? That is going to be z is equal to zero. Equation of y z plane will be x is equal to zero, and equation of x z plane will be y equal to zero. In fact, if you have plane, any plane which is parallel to coordinate planes. For example, if you have, for example, if you have a plane parallel to x y, then equation would be z is equal to a constant. This will be a form of the equation of some particular planes. Now, equation of the planes passing through line of intersection of two planes. What does that mean? You have two planes, right? You have another plane. Okay, this plane will have a line of intersection. Okay, and how many planes are possible through a line? Infinitely many possible. How many planes are possible through? A line. There are infinitely many planes. So I have to find equation of this plane which is passing through line of intersection. Okay. So obviously, if there are infinitely many such planes possible, then I should I must have a variable. I must have a variable that I can change to any constant. It means basically a, a an arbitrary constant should be present in the equation so that if I change that constant. I get different different planes because there are infinite planes. So let's start with the two given planes. This plane, let's say, is pi one, and this plane is pi two. So pi one plane is a one x plus b one y plus c one z plus d one is equal to zero, and pi two plane is a two x plus b two y plus c two z plus d two is equal to zero. These are the two given. Planes. Then, plane, plane, passing through, passing through, intersection of, passing through line of intersection, line of intersection of pi one and pi two is. This is first plane a one x plus b one y plus c one z plus d plus lambda 
ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू जेड प्लस डी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेयर लेमदा बिलोंग्स टू रियल ओके सो दिस लेमदा हियर इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट लेमदा वन देन यू विल गेट वन प्लेन पासिंग टू दैट लाइन इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट लेमदा टू बी एनी अदर फोर्स यू गेट अनदर प्लेन पासिंग टू दैट सिमिलरली यू कीप ऑन चेंजिंग योर लेमदा यू कीप ऑन गेटिंग द प्लेन दैट इज पासिंग टू दैट line of intersection another important form this is a plane passing through passing through line of intersection of two given points next condition for a line to lie on a given plane so that means that means if i have a so so listen to this carefully if i have first of all condition for a line so about the line what is given uh not the equation because we have we don't know how the equation of a line looks like in three dimension in plane it's not ax plus by plus c is equal to zero that is in two dimension so uh, right now what information can we say about the line its direction so let's say we have direction ratios of line are a b and c these are direction ratios okay and uh, plane and equation of plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to Okay, so this is plane, and this is line. So if they, if this is the line having the direction ratios a comma b comma c, and that lie on the plane, then what is the relation of this line with the normal of the plane? This is normal of the plane, which is perpendicular to the plane. That means this normal, this normal, is perpendicular to the line also because line actually lie on the plane. and this normal will have direction ratios a b c so what is the relation between these direction ratios of two lines which are perpendicular therefore required condition is required condition is for perpendicular it is capital a multiply small a plus b b plus c c equals to so that is the required condition acha Now, what is the condition for a line to be perpendicular to the given plane? Okay, uh, taking the same notations that the direction ratios are small a, b, c, and the equation of plane is uh, this equation number one. Then this is plane, and normal has direction ratios a, b, c, and the line is per perpendicular. So this is the line which is perpendicular to the plane, having the direction a, b, c. So the normal and the line becomes parallel. And the condition would be small a by a is equal to b by b is equal to c by c. Next, let's do this question. This would be. This is question number two, and this is question number three. See what the question says. Question says the plane. This is the plane is rotated through a right angle. Okay, so uh, original position of the plane is this. Let's say. And it is rotated to a right angle. This is our plane. Okay, and the angle is ninety degrees. 
तो प्लेन इज एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द प्लेन इट इज रोटेटेड टू अ राइट एंगल अबाउट इट्स लाइन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ओके ओके सो इट इज एक्चुअली रोटेटेड अबाउट अ लाइन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन विद द अनदर प्लेन वी हैव अनदर प्लेन and that is the line of intersection this is the complete plane this plane is this one find the equation of the plane in its new position okay so see if there is a plane i can rotate it about this line about this line about this line so that's why they are specifying that about which line it is rotated it is rotated about a line which is the line of intersection with this given plane okay so uh this plane which is the plane which is the equation of the plane that we want to find that is in its new position we want to find this plane observe that this plane passes through the line of intersection of these two given planes so i know that equation of plane in new position in new position is equation of plane passing through passing through line of intersection of line of intersection of of equation 1 and 2 so this is your equation 1 and this is equation 2 okay this is equals to first equation plus lambda times second equation so first equation is x and it is 1 plus 2 lambda x then minus 2 plus 3 lambda y plus 3 plus 3 minus 4 lambda z plus minus 5 lambda that is equals to zero but we have a uniqueness about this plane this is not any plane passing through the line of intersection this plane is such that it is making 90 degree with the equation number 1 with plane 1 so their normals will also be perpendicular their normals will be perpendicular so we know a condition of the perpendicularity and that is so if this is plane 3 so we know plane 1 and 3 are perpendicular so what are the direction ratios of 1 that is 1 minus 2 and 3 So one times one plus two lambda. This is uh, a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two. That is equals to zero. You find value of lambda from here. Lambda is going to be seven by eight. And you back substitute this lambda over here in equation three. Using this value. In equation three, using this value in equation three, we get the required equation as twenty-two x plus five y minus four z. Minus thirty-five is equals to zero. So you just need to substitute this value of lambda throughout in equation number three, and you'll get your answer. Okay. So there can be infinitely many planes passing through the intersection, passing through the line of intersection of the two planes, but you give a uniqueness to that, and that unique property will give you that unique plane. And that property was here perpendicular. Next. Next we have this question. See how easy this is. This is also same kind of question. Question number four. 
find equation of the plane through the intersection of the planes this and this. So we know the equation of plane through line of intersection. Through line of intersection is first equation plus lambda times second equation. So it is 1 plus 2 lambda x plus 1 plus 3 lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z plus minus 1 plus 4 lambda is equals to 0. Okay. Number 1. What is the uniqueness about this plane? Uniqueness is number 1, it is parallel to x axis. So if it is parallel to x axis, this is plane and this is a plane which is parallel to x axis. Right? So what is the relation between this x axis and normal of the plane? They are perpendicular. So direction ratios of x axis is 1, 0, 0 and direction ratios of this normal of the plane are these three coefficients and they are perpendicular. So the relation is relation is this is therefore 1 times 1 plus 2 lambda a1 a2 plus b1 a2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 plus 0 times this plus 0 times 1 minus lambda is equal to 0 so lambda comes out with minus half you substitute this minus half in this equation in equation number 1 you will get your answer what is the next thing it is parallel to y axis so direction ratios of y axis will change direction ratios of y axis is 0 1 0 substitute you will get the value of lambda is minus 1 by 3 and again substitute in equation 1 to get it. in the first one you will get the equation y minus 3z plus 6 is equal to 0 and for the second one we will get for the b part equation would be x plus 4z minus 7 is equal to 0. We have next question, question number 5. This is, find the equation of the plane passing through the points this and this and perpendicular to the plane. So, this is one question we have done over here, exactly the same. Find the equation of the plane through the point these two points are given and perpendicular to them. This is exactly the same question. This question is again, find equation of the plane passing through two points and perpendicular to the plane. So repeat that. I'll just write the answer for you. You can verify 4x plus 7y plus 2z plus 11 is equal to 0 is the answer. Same as question number 2 that we have. Next is this question number 6. It says, obtain the equation of the plane that bisects the segment joining the points these two at right angles. So we have two points, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. There is a plane that bisects the segment. So point that lies on it on the plane and on the line is actually midpoint of that of that so what will be the midpoint uh, section formula 1 plus 3 divided by 2 2 2 plus 4 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 3 plus 5 8 8 divided by 2 4 so that's the point 2 comma 3 comma 4 so this is the point lying on the plane so equation of plane Passing through, passing through 2 comma 3 comma 4 is a x minus 2 plus b y minus 3 plus c z minus 4 is equals to 0. Right? We have to find this capital A, capital B, capital C. Capital A, capital B, capital C are direction ratios of normal of 
plane one. Direction ratios of normal of plane one. Okay, so this is not. And what they are saying is that plane is at right end to the line joining this. So that means the line and the normal they are parallel. Right. But what is the direction ratio of this line? The direction ratio of this normal is known capital A, capital B, capital C. And direction ratios of, if this is A and B, so of line AB would be, just subtract 3 minus 1, 2, 4 minus 2, 2, and 5 minus 3, 2, 2, comma, 2, comma, 2. So, um, so these are parallel. So, if they are, these are parallel, their direction ratios will be proportionate. That means capital A by 2 is equal to B by 2 is equal to C by 2 is equal to K, let's say. So, you have capital A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to 2. Substitute in 1. So, from 1 we get 2K times X minus 2 plus 2K times Y minus 3 plus 2k times z minus 3 is equals to 0. Uh, z minus 4. Yes. So your equation is 2k taken common out. So it will be x plus y plus z minus 9 is equals to 0. That is your equation. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this lecture was useful for you and uh, we'll continue this discussion uh, in the next video and uh, most probably in the next uh, video we'll finish this thing. Okay. Thank you so much. Everybody.